So I had a lot of you request that I watch a video today, and it's literally called Gay Men Touch Vagina for the first time. Now originally, I thought you were all joking, because I was like, you know, how the fuck can a video titled that actually be on YouTube? But lo and behold, it exists on YouTube. It's not even age-restricted, so you know, little kids going on YouTube watching a bit of PewDiePie, watching a bit of Stampy Longhead, they'll just wander onto Gay Men Touching Vagina for the first time, you know, because YouTube is a family-friendly website. So yeah, I hope you got your popcorn actually no tell you what you probably don't want anything to eat or anything to drink while you're watching this just saying let's play the video um, hi i'm stevie i'm really excited about this video today and i am a woman who happens to have a vagina, vagina. hello <laughs> um i have well i let's see i Hi! Cute glasses. Thanks. So already, as you can see, you've got some men sitting down and they're actually already making me question my sexuality. And so far, this video's going great. Until you listen to the background music and realize it's the most generic, royalty-free music you could ever imagine. I understand why royalty-free music is so popular because obviously it's free and, you know, it's really easy to use and get hold of. But it's so overused. Even this video, this viral video, just can't escape the royalty-free music. Wow. At the end of the day, royalty-free music goes great with gay men touching vaginas. <laughs> Am I like gonna fall into it? Fall into it. I gotta be honest, mate. I think they're taking this a little bit out of context. They're literally comparing a vagina to Mount Doom from Lord of the Rings. Oh, your panties came off. Always wear protection. I'm sorry, I don't need to like stare directly at it. So this is a vagina. This, this is, is a vagina. vagina. I love how the video is literally trying to force down your throat the aspect that these are gay men that have never seen vaginas before. They're literally mentioning this every second they can. Yeah, I'm like afraid I'm gonna like fall in. Again guys, just to clear this up. Vagina, Mount Doom. Vagina, Mount Doom. One of them, you fall inside to a fiery death. The other, you don't. I just hope this clears it up for you. Usually there's a penis there. Do you shave around there? So you might have noticed a correlation going on. Three of the gay guys are totally fine with seeing a vagina. They're fine. They'd be mature and reasonable about it. And then you've got the one guy that sees it and he completely loses his shit. Oh my god, it's staring right at me! I don't know why, but I love this guy's reaction so much. It's like a little six-year-old kid that's at Disney World and he sees Mickey Mouse for the first time. <laughs> Feels like I just petted like an, a small animal. Oh, like a squid. I've seen enough hentai to to know where this is going. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really not as terrifying as I was anticipating. <laughs> Always ask permission when you touch someone's vagina. <laughs> yeah, I, I do think you need permission, mate. Because if not, I think it's classified as rape. Just saying. So what did we learn in today's video, kids? Fuck all, because this is just another random viral video that somehow gets famous, probably through Facebook. I mean, the video is pretty much harmless on its own. It doesn't really do anything bad. It's not like these horribly forced or faked pranks that are now going viral. This is just literally something that you wouldn't be able to see without access to the internet. People can choose whether they see that as a positive or a negative. Be sure to comment down below what you want me to talk about next. And if this video reaches two likes, I will send all of you my toe. I will cut off my toe into tiny little pieces and send it to all of you in the mail.